Oh, so much progress. I have the latest prototype. It's got, it sounds like it's got a little bit of a scratchy thing, but it's really just, I sized the stem wrong and it's catching on the, um, on the little lip on the inside there. But as you can see, that works and it's no, it's snapped together. Now the part that sits over the top, I had to glue it because I made it too thin. Uh, that's easy fix. Just like the, um, the stem thing is where it gets caught right at the edge, you hear that click, <laughs> it's like a tactile thing. That's easy to fix too. Um, almost there, almost there. I've got little holes for the wires there and that hole in the center is actually for an LED which will shine right up the dead center of that shaft and should illuminate the entirety of the key nice and evenly. Oh, it feels great, it feels just like a normal key. And for reference, I got myself a little cherry blue over here. And it's basically the same exact size as a cherry key. Now, you can twist it a little bit, but, you know, it's not like it's going to, that's not going to matter when you touch it. So there is, you know, you can actually, I guess you could actually in, uh, <laughs> incorporate a potentiometer in here and turn this into like a little left and right volume control or something wacky. <laughs> uh, I decided not to bother trying to keep it from twisting because in reality you're just going to smack the key and it's not going to twist in the slightest. It's not going to matter. And, oh man, it feels great. It feels just like a normal key. I haven't measured the um, actuation force yet because um, I'm still working on it a little bit. But let's just take a moment to appreciate my progression from... Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea, which is what this thing was. I printed it out. Um, and I was like, wait a minute, I bet I could do something cool with this. Um, and they made a bigger one. And then this was the one of the first prototypes. It had like a little thing integrated into it that was supposed to prevent that. <laughs> Didn't actually work for that purpose. It's also super scratchy. Moving on. Uh, this one's very gentle um, and in alignment. I forget which prototype they are. And then the problem was as I incorporated more and more things to keep it straight and smooth, it started to grow taller. See that? And this was a this was a test to make sure that changing the actuation distance parameter worked. Um, but this one's really wobbly, and we get less and less wobbly to the no wobble version. And this was kind of like the final prototype of this style. And then I reworked basically everything to make that. You know, the top needs to be a little bit skinnier. Uh, but other than that, it works awesome. Awesome progress.